Alright guys, review 2 for today. This is the of course the Retro 11 Low Gold Olympic Closing Ceremony shoes. You guys might have seen me just do my uh, Retro, I'm oh, no, sorry, Retro 5 uh, Gold Coins. Of course I got this shoe at Finish Line. My wife picked it up for me while I was at work. Uh, so I got, in Retro 11's I'm an 8.5. If you guys watched my Retro 5, I showed you guys I wore a size Fought, I wore a size 8. So on Retro 11s, I'm true to size on 8.5. So I prefer the extra space because it's, if I get an 8, it feels just too tight. So let's get into looking at how this shoe looks like. Now, this is my first time seeing it myself, too. I, like I said, my wife picked it up for me. So this is, I, she just brought it home. I didn't even look at it. So uh, let's get to see yeah, how. Oh, these are dope. Now that is nice. This is a really nice shoe. Um, I can't imagine people passing on these, but if you did, then you know, I mean, that's your preference. Uh, I don't really have any flaw marks except for a couple of glue things, but you know, I could wipe that off. But the icy blue bottom with the whole gold all around it with patent leather, or I mean, if it, if it is, I'm assuming it's patent leather, um, it's just really dope. I mean, this is just really, really really clean colorway and the upper is leather it's not that um, ballistic mesh or anything like that of course it has a gold uh, jumpman tag right there gold jumpman on the back and gold for the 23 and mine lines up correctly so they didn't have any flaws all right and so I'll show you both pairs real quick. I don't want to make this video too long because uh, I just did my review on the fives. All right. So mine, they did a good job on my pair. I mean, uh, that icy blue sole is just really nice looking. And uh, they did quality wise, it's uh, they did a good job. I didn't have any flaw marks. Uh, it's not. It's not uh, creased already or anything like that. So I mean, they did a good job with it. So let me put these on feet and I'll show you what they look like. Alright, so like I said guys, I just did my review on the Olympic gold medal coins. And I'm about to put these on feet here. So let's get these on feet. Like I said, this is my first time looking at it. Uh, she just brought these shoes home and uh, I haven't even opened, this is the first time I've even opened the box. So. And that gold is just sick. And yeah, if you guys liked it, I hope and wanted it, I hope you guys were able to copy yourself a pair. It sat on Nike's website for a little bit. Uh, I didn't sell it right away. So uh, I'm sure uh, a lot of people were able to cop. And then uh, we went to the mall as well the next day or so. Was it the next day? I don't really remember. No, 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 I'm sorry, the same day, uh, to pick up the, uh, baby Yeezys that I want. And, um, I still saw some of these sitting in store, so, uh, I guess a lot of people passed on them. But, like I said, you know, if you guys want to pass on these, or whatever shoes that come out, then, you know, that's, that's fine by me, because, you know, it just makes it easier for me to cop. And it feels a little bit different that this upper is leather. Yeah, so eight and a half is best for me on 11s. Because normally I'm at eight and a half. All right, so let me take this out. Put my jeans behind it. And as I told you guys in the last video, I cuff my jeans because they're too long for me. So I need to get these hemmed. But... Yes. 
This is just a dope colorway to me. I've copped every Retro 11 since I've started collecting, um, since 2012, whether it be a low top or a high top. So the only things I might have passed on were the, um, the IE versions. The only IE version I got was a Cobalt. So, I'm a sucker for the Retro 11s. It's just one of my favorite model wet, color, uh, models. So, I know, tend to normally get every colorway that comes out. And of course, uh, I still have yet to undesuck a lot of my shoes. You guys probably saw, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys probably saw me undesuck my Cherry, Reverse Cherry 11s. But I haven't even worn the uh, gum bottoms yet. So I still have a lot of shoes I need to undead stock. I just haven't gotten around to it. Alright, but this, I mean, this is really nice. I mean, the gold. Like I said, I'm a sucker for gold. One day I might even just pull out, like, all my gold shoes. Just to show you guys that, you know, I buy a lot of shoes that have gold in them. I mean, look. I'm gonna step out of the picture for a minute. Look. See? I just, I, mean, I just buy a lot of stuff that has gold in it. Anything shiny, gold, 3M, glow in the dark. Yeah, I, I have a hard time passing on those shoes, so. Alright, and my wife, of course, will do her review later on it. I don't think she's done her review on it. But, um... That's pretty much what they look like on piece. So let me do one last 360. And the icy blue bottom on these look really good. Like I said, the upper feels a little bit different. Just because it's not that... Ballistic mesh. It feels kind of like maybe the 7210s, kind of. Except not high top, but it's a little bit different. Um, what, I, don't know, I can't remember if any of the other Retro 11s had that leather upper. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys remember. All my 11s are in the closet, so I really don't feel like pulling them all out to see which ones have ballistic mesh or not. But I'm pretty sure most of them did. But, uh, if you guys can tell me which ones, uh, might have had an upper, uh, a leather upper, then let me know. But, uh, that's pretty much what this shoe looks like. I mean, it's just, I just love this gold colorway. This is dope. I can't imagine anybody passing on these, but if you did, you know, then that's, that's, your choice, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, criticize that, because, you know, like I said, buy what you like, so, that's what, pretty much what they look like on feet. Anyway, guys, uh, just ending this video up real quick, thank you guys for watching, we appreciate everybody that comments, and we appreciate the feedback, thank you guys for watching my wife's videos, and, uh, my videos, of course, we appreciate everybody that comments, and, so, uh, comment, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button. Peace, guys.